Hello all, thanks for watching this video. Today we are going to learn how to create collective search help. We have already discussed about creating the elementary search help in the previous lecture. I've given the link in the description below. And there are different steps in creating a collective search help. We are going to see all the steps one after the other. The first step of creating a collective search help is creating the database table. So let me go ahead and create a database table. Go to transaction code SE11 and create a table. So in this case, I'm just creating zjava underscore team 11. Hit on create and give us a short description for this particular table. Let me say Java team as a short description. Select the delivery class as application table and select the maintenance as allowed. Now come to the field level where we're going to give a mandate field, which is going to be very, very important for every table. So MANDT, MANDT. And the second thing that I'm going to do is creating the key field for this particular table. So in this case, I'm going to create Crick ID. And I'm going to create a data element for the Crick ID. Double click on the data element that you have given there and proceed with the same. So usually I differentiate the data element and the domain creation by the short description because most of the cases we are going to give the same name for the data element and the data domain. So I'm just saying DE for Crick ID and I'm going to copy this data element name and give that over here. And you very well know, go into the field label and just give Crick ID to the copy paste on enter. Now after giving the data element here, uh, you can see like the data type and the length is not still given because it's in the domain level. So double click this to create the data domain. So do for Crick ID and I'm going to choose this as the character type. I'm going to choose this as a length three and save it. Click on activate while activating select the data element as well to activate as a whole. And now one step back you reach the data element and where the latest updates are reflecting here. One step back again so that the same will be reflected in the table. So now do the same process for the second field which is CRIC underscore name 11. Double click this hit on yes hit on yes and DE for quick name copy the same data element paste it over here and go to the field label and just say name That's it. Now go into the data domain level to create the domain. Click on S, local objects. Click on S, and I'm going to create a short description for the domain name. And this would be the characters. And I'm going to say 20. Now save it and activate this. While activating, select the data element and activate it together. Now, one step back, one step back, the fields are reflecting here. So after the entire content of the database table is done, so the next thing that we usually do is go ahead and create the technical settings. So the technical settings, we are going to go with the first option here and we're going with the minimal table size so save and get back 
go with enhancement category and we want to say can be enhanced now save and activate now your table is ready to proceed with the entries so the first thing that we are going to do is go into the table content and click on create entries so when i say that uh, we are going to give a quick id it means like any id that will make sense and hit on save save and we'll give one more and save now we are very sure that this table is going to contain three entries and when you execute those those three entries will be visible so now we have successfully created the first table with this actively kept i'm going to create a parallel window and create a second database table so instead of java let me keep it something else like acp and hit on create all the same process that you're going to follow here and this creation is going to be a bit faster because i'm not going to create any new data element so everything that i've created there i'm going to reuse it here so first is quick id that will be still the key field and the same data element we have to use so make this very clear guys when you're creating a collective search help, it is very very mandatory to go and describe the same data element here otherwise your collective search help will not work so once this is done save it the local objects technical settings you are aware of what to choose over here and define the size category save it get back extras enhancement category and i'm going to choose the character type copy save and activate now your second table is also ready to take on the entries so in this particular table i'm going to go with a uh, few three more entries uh, let me say two one three and it's going to be Tony Virat Come on. save it get back just take this check this database table how many entries are available here so it's three entries so we are good so execute those entries and see whether those are the entries so the first step is we can we have created successfully two database table but these two database table has not got any connection between it so the second step that we are going to do is create an elementary search help for each of these particular tables. It means we have to create two elementary search helps. So I'm going to say slash OSE 11 again. Sorry, let me repeat slash OSE 11. Right, and go into the search help. Z Java. Hit on create. So go with the elementary search up here. So very, very carefully listen, um, listen up here. It's very, very important. So the first thing that I'm going to say is just go ahead and create a short description. And the selection method you're going to give here is the name of the first table. So go back to your first table, copy the first table and paste it over here now once you've given that over here then the second thing that you're going to do is you're going to say quick name this is the field that we are going to 
make sure that the search help is attached and i'm going to give the l position and the s position as one just click on enter and automatically this will take the data element that is available but i don't know why it's not taking here okay it's because of this now you can see the data element is available here now once this is done the very important thing is usually just save it and activate this particular search help and go with executing this particular search help to see what would be the possible result whether it is pulling out the fields from it yeah it did so we are we are right here and we're going to keep this as it is and now it's time to go ahead and create the second search help for the second database table so let us take this reference as it is so slash slash o s11 and instead of java just change that to sap now hit on create we are once again going to create an elementary search help for sap team and you very well know this has to be sap team underscore 11 so let us cross check whether that's the same copy this paste it over now go here and choose the same field which is a name field and importing and exporting parameters l position and s position is one so next step is save it activate it and try to execute this just to check whether we are getting the fields pulled up the concern table it is pulling up so we are right now this is a very very important thing so what we are going to do is we are going to create a collective search help so this is phase number three slash o s11 i'm going to say z team collective search help click on create collective search help hit on ok for teams so this is what i'm going to put on here and here i'm going to give a parameter name called name and i'm going to bring the data element here with respect to what i've given over there so this is what i've given there let me check that yeah this is the data element name so now go into the include search help and you're going to include these two search helps that you've created so what's the first search help that you've created copy this and paste it here enter and just change the name we know what it is sap search help this is the second table second search help so now having included these particular search helps the first thing that you have to do is you have to make a connectivity of what assignment you're going to make so i'm going to select this particular table go to click on the parameter assignment click on yes and double click on this name hit on copy it is copied now go ahead do the same thing for the second field select your cursor and hit on copy so by doing this both the contents are transferred once again let us cross check let's go here assignment and
it is proposed. So we're good now. So the last thing that we are going to do is just save this and activate it. So just click on this and we should be able to see two tabs available here. One is the Java team and one is the SAP team. So our search help is working as expected. Now we'll see one other component here, guys. Let us call a report program and see how this is called. It's a simple component. So let's, let me add that SE11. I'm sorry, slash NSE38. I'm going to say Z calling teams. Hit on create for collective search help. It's going to be an executable program. Save it, a local objects. And now you're going to write a piece of code. So the first thing that I'm going to write is parameters and we have kept a name for this parameters, which is of type set quick underscore name 11. That is a data element name. And we are going to say match code object. And we are going to say the name of the collective search help. Dot. Save it. Check it. Activate it. Now execute it. And if you just click on this F4 help, you will be able to see the collective search help giving us the options. So have a detailed learning about how to create database tables and how to create an elementary search help to master how to create a collective search help. So if you have any questions, put that in the comments. I'm happy to assist you. Happy learning. Thank you.